San Juan, Princeton. They aren't playing in this tournament. None of the teams are mentioned. So nowhere for Ulubatar to go, but up as they'll lace him up here against Paddy. It's on the voice, Kyle Montgomery and Boz Rosendahl, the mountain here with you. And Giannis is going to blow his whistle. Foul yellow, Ulubatar. I, was, I said I was going to mention some of the, th the things that they did poorly last weekend. 17 points per game. We mentioned the 15% from the land of plenty. But Boz, 18 turnovers in two games. <laughs> yeah. They had more turnovers than squads that played five games. Yeah, I know. That's yeah, that was an issue. And uh, to add to that, some fouls that, that I didn't like in the sense of they weren't necessary. They, you could see them sometimes get physical with people for no reason. Yeah, the ticky-tack. Fatigue fouls. Pocket pass. The needle was threaded, but Davasambu could not finish at the rim. Joko and Suhar. Hugo. Interior pass. Wild ball. Tough as nails, this one. He will score it over Davasambu plus the foul. Jules Rambo. Rambo, a consistent free throw shooter. Better than 70% of the strike this year. That one. He gets the friendly roll to Zipari. Inkbot, stop and go. Got the size advantage on Suhart, but he misses the short. He changed his hair this week, too. He looks like he belongs in the Mongolian boy band now. He used to. <laughs> you see, he's got the bangs. Now. Yeah, you're right. Davasambu, bully ball from the bull. Oh, oh that's a bull. We, we've seen him miss a couple of those easy ones over the last few weeks, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Igbot had a, a hole to pass it through and finds Dookie. Dookie will see him. There we go. See? Those, I like his yeah. intensity, but that. You can see that foul come. You can see it coming. Reached in a couple of times, just playing the pressure defense, but those are the fouls that add up, and they cost you late in the game. Yep. And it's usually Doogie picking those up as well. Veteran, veteran in this game. World Tour final winner. He, he's got to be smarter than that. That's an offensive foul. Doogie will see you paid for it. Took a shot to Chops. Minute and a half in in the one-point contest. Just off the Bahrain Bay. Here in the kingdom of Bahrain. Ooh, Ogonjoko, pandemonium. You see the feetsies? Uh-huh, skipping a bucket for him. There's a foul on Ogonjoko. Sagela up top to get things checked up. Harris trying to make a run to the final for the fifth time in six Masters this year. 2-0 start is what they're seeking. Step back, Hugo lets it go. No good. Rebound, but a whistle. That one called on Segala, it seems. He thought he thought the foul was on yellow. He was giving <laughs> yeah, he was like, Giannis the thumbs up. He's like, yeah. Yeah, good call. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> what? Anyway, you got a D up now. Now my son, Bull. Ink, but I think not. The gun is every two attempt that he took in Abu Dhabi. Crossover. Joker draws the foul. Paul Joker. Paul Joker, one of those players that's a catalyst for this Paris team. He's earned some more playing time on his roster. They got a lot of talent for, in, you know, in France and talent that we've seen kind of in and out throughout the season. Yeah, they obviously saw suffered an injury, but Paul Joko, he's earned his place. Good defense, but better offense. They stick with it and get the layup to go. 33. Over to Rambo. Man, he can score on either side of the bucket, left or right, Both contact hands. and no contact. Yeah, yes. the body control on that was incredible. He hung in the air, took a bump, and still finished with his offense. Oh, ain't bot. Did he, ma? What a score there from Doug Gunn. Two great on-ball defenders. 
with Inkbot and Joko. Doogie, no choice but the foul rap bolt. Three minutes in, 4 4 tie. Pouty from the elbow. Hand off to Suhard. He's going to draw the attention from the defense beyond that arc, and he will find a wide open Juan Segala who drills it. Or Gondragal sucked. Not good that time. He's not normally taking a bunch of twos out there. He's going to leave that up to Igbot. He finally is able to sink one. First two piece in the game for the Horsemen. And watch out, his Inkbot is one that can go on a tear, right? If he hits one, he can get a couple in a row. Needle threaded right up the scene to Rambo. And Rambo staying active defensively. Reaches around and pokes it away. Gifted physical specimen is Rambo. Stands about six foot seven. And as strong as one of the top interior defenders in the game. We probably need to look at that list again. Yeah, his ascension has been great to watch. I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I saw him kind of grow up from the nation's leagues, the youth squads for the French, into a, a major player now on the world stage. I think one of the premier big men because of what he brings, right? Interior defense, shot blocking ability, but also his role to the basket. In general, he doesn't do anything crazy, anything out of uh, character. He's a very, very solid big and enables Paris to play the style they play. 7-6, Paris not leading comfortably. Oh, Davasa Brewer crossing his back. He ended up losing the handle, but I'm sure Joko wasn't prepared for that. Ball up top, 2.2 left. So Dugo C is gonna have to force one up. Does he shoot this with off two feet or one leg? He doesn't shoot at all. Oh wow. They that's, saved by the bear. That's a that's a that's that's by design too. I like how they play that. Well, oh, that is a delicious dish. Ooh la la, say ooh. What a pass from Rambo! Unbelievable. Look at this dime. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Great, great pass. And to finish the boot. Oh, my lord. Inkba. Oh. So we, we've been gushing over, over Rambo. And talk about his defense. We, I didn't even mention his passing. No, you're right. He's a super well-rounded player. Yeah, I agree. They double team. Dugo Sia, they will leave Ogonjo Gall by himself. He'll make him pay double. That'll cost Paris the lead. Down low. Mullet swinging in the horseman's face. That smart defense by Engbot, though. He gave him contact on the first bump, and then on the second, he stepped back. He got him out of his rhythm. Oh, look at this again. Oh, yeah. And that blue. So nice. You got to see it twice. Speaking of twice, there's a two ball from Ogonja Gall. Yeah, that was a work of art that time. Offensive foul, 9 8 contest. I have to look back, but now most of the games have gone the limit. Couple of 21, we got a 21 8 game. Actually, so a lot of them went to 21 so far. Okay. Just feels like that, yes. Yeah, it's, 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 it has been a, a slow play. The Chong Ming, Paris, and Riffa in their first game, all three got the 21. The last two have been under, uh, under, uh, under they've gotten to the limit. Ah, that's right. It's the last two, it's the recent memory that threw me off. That's okay. We're past the midway point of this one. Sixth game of 12 here in Manama. Back again, second straight year. Last year was Partizan who won here 
at this particular Masters. They are not playing this year. Neither do we have Oob, who are top the standings, or Amsterdam, who won their second title this year, just last week in Abu Dhabi. You remember us talking about Tiki Tack fouls to start of the game? Let's take a look at Ulam Batar's foul tally right now. 4.45 left in the game. They're at eight fouls. They're giving up two free throws on pretty much nothing right now. That's not high IQ 3x3. Yeah, we both made note of it. And with eight fouls and 4.45 left in the game clock, that's an eternity in 3x3. Yes. And Paris are a, are a good free throw shooting team. Abbasambu bullying his way to the bucket. He converts it. But Paris will continue their attack. Rambo with a soft touch. Inkbot. That move wasn't going nowhere. That matchup between him and Joko is a good one to watch, though. They're both trying to attack each other. Both really good defenders, both athletic. What's that game system that you were in love with that you can hold in your hand? Oh, the, uh, the Steam Deck. Steam Deck. I was curious. I was thinking about something. Don't worry. It'll come out. <laughs> okay, all right. 11 10. Got lots of boot from the elbow. Double foul. So while Paris, while Ulibatar are in this game, the fouling situation is uh, pretty dire for them because now that's the ninth. A tenth foul would not only give Paris two free throws, but possession as well. Double penalty is nowhere you want to be. That ball, oh, they can't find Segala. He was going to be wide open for a look, but luckily for Ulibatar, they mishandled the rock and they'll take over after a media timeout. 11-10 advantage for Paris. And, but Ulibatar on the brink of being in the double penalty. Yeah, not a good spot to be in. And, and again, the, the ticky tack fouls at the start of the game now coming back to hunt. And the next four minutes are going to be either very disciplined for Ulibatar or they're going to give up a lot of points from the free throw strike. There's another look at that dish and his finger licking good. 351. Here we go. One more game. Got a tight one. The Doogie man attacking Hugo. Doogie from the corner. No. Joko lost him with the jab step. Ooh, couldn't finish the leg. That would have been pretty. Inkbot, I think not. Joko with the D there. Suhar comes around. Suhar kicks it. Rambo is having himself a game. He's got eight points in this contest. And he was tapping his fade. The mellow, right? Yep. Ulubatar undeterred. They stay within two points. Suhar, he wants to get in on the action. That man stay well. He needs a bath towel. 15-11, pull back. Suhar decides not to D up. The disrespect. So from mullet to man bun, they are baking. 17-11, Jules Rambo and Hugo Suhar. The killer combo for Potty. So 12 points combined for for Rambo and Suhar. Uh, Dugosia and Rambo. Yeah, they, I think they got both got teed up and then they had to shake each other's hand and they really did. So now they're still upset with each other. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen here. I don't think they're gonna be having a coffee tomorrow. Probably not. Six point lead for Paddy. Dugosia fakes the head off Doogie to the crib. Now, they'll get it to Rambo. Segala now. 
That one ricochets front iron. He got quick find to the Basambu. The Basambu gets with it to Gala. Made him leave his feet. Duki, hustle. What a play there from Dugo Sia. Wow. Olubatar within three. They're not going to go away, at least not quietly. What my old coach used to say about types of plays like that, that's a kamikaze play. If you miss it, you give up a bucket for sure. But he got the steal. He passed it to the right person and got a point out of it. That's a huge momentum swing going into the last two minutes. Yeah, but again, the foul situation for Ulubatar is dire. Plays like that, they hope it makes a difference. But a lot of time is left. And Paris not in a great foul situation themselves because they are in the penalty and could put Ulubatar at the strike without the extra possession that Paris will get to enjoy. So here we go. You go. Joko left alone. He winds up from two range. And it rolls out to Gala. Man, lands right in his lap. Right place, right time. The bull on the charge. Davasa Bull off the square. Minute 30 to go. Joko navigating through the lane. That was beautiful. Inkbot, runner. No defense there. It was two, oh, two versus one. Hey, that's will uh, they'll settle for trade buckets. They will at settle this, for at trade this rate. They'll get the 21 first. Yeah, true, true. But Doogie's back in the game, so you know he's going to try to go for uh, a steal or something else again. Lambo has it poked away. He's looking for his ninth point of the contest. Suhar one six. Hugo. Narrow miss. How did he even get that shot off? Doogie was right there, all up in his grill. And then active hand, Suhart. He will poke that away. And seven seconds left on the shot clock. A minute left in the game. Doogie. Now it's he and Rambo. Beaten again, Dugosia didn't get there in time. 51 seconds. Paris probably looking to put this away with a two. I wouldn't be shocked if Sue Hard let one fly. Here's Sue Hard, ISO game. He dials up his own number, and he cannot hit it that time. Dugosia and Inkbot. Inkbot to the bull. Now Basambu with the smaller Suhard. This should be light work for him. But he misses another layup before finally converting. Ulubatar down two now. Now it's crunch time. 24 seconds left in the game. Six on the shot clock. Joko crossover. Couple of them. Driving left. Faded. What a shot. What a shot from Paul Joko. 10 seconds left, two ball, no long rebound. Dugo Sia, they need to tie. Doogie, no, Bull. He'll sprint out to two land. He will does not get the shot up. Paris 2 and 0 with a three point win over Ulan Batar. Well played down the stretch here by Paris. Ulan Batar seemed to grab a little bit of the momentum off that Doogie steal, but they kept her. Heads cool, got the scores they wanted. Big bucket to Choco, though. That one-foot fader on the baseline was a... Uh, uh